you've got to love Nicole Wallace. But yes, she has come to a new realization. We got it all wrong. Well, those of us in independent media, we really didn't get it all wrong, right? But I mean, look, uh, she's absolutely right. Check this out and then we'll take it on the other side. This is, this is the conversation that needs to be had. We covered this incorrectly. Trump, fear of Trump was the excuse for all of Mitch McConnell mm -hmm. and Rob Portman and Kevin McCarthy and all these weenies who look the other way when Casey Hunt and Leanne Caldwell and Garrett Hake were there with a the camera saying, do you believe with this outrageous thing that Donald Trump tweeted today? And our frame was they must be afraid of our cameras because they're scared of Trump. We were wrong. They are Trump. And you are right. This story is no longer about Trump. It's what they it's what Trump revealed the Republicans to be. And I dare say my old boss was putting it nice. Charlie, when he said the Republicans yeah. are now, they stand for isolationism, protectionism, and nativism. And I'll add one more. Flagrant racism. And how do you not lump extremism into it, too, if you look at the intersection between the ideology that represents the gravest domestic violent extremism threat and the lies that Kevin McCarthy refused to knock down when Chris Wallace gave him multiple chances to do so yesterday? Yeah, I mean, these guys have been playing with matches for the last four years. They've been, you know, uh, dousing kerosene on American democracy. And, and now there's a conflagration, and they don't know what to do about it. Because, again, they've created something that they can't stop. And, you know, whether or not Donald Trump continues to pull the strings or whether he comes back in 2024, this is now the new reality. And this is the real threat that, in fact, you know, a lot of us thought or are hoping that the Republican Party might get better after Trump left, rather than, than healing itself or having the fever break, what you're seeing in the Republican Party is a party that's getting crazier and that's getting worse even after Donald Trump has left office. And it's almost as if since he's been removed from the equation, there are no guardrails to the crazy that he set off. No guardrails to the crazy that he set off. I think, like uh, Nicole said, they are Trump. The crazy has always been there, and they, they just needed that leader that they could coalesce around. And in Trump, they got him. And a, a lot of the moderate folks started to thought, think about, where does that leave us? Well, the truth of the matter is that it, it, they could decide to, to choose country over party. And choosing country over party meaning we are now in a politically existential and a negative existential state. And what one would want to do is say there's only one party right now that believes in true democracy. There's only one party right now, irrespective of how progressive you may think they are, they are, they, they are working for what the people want and not trying to limit their vote and not trying to limit their freedoms, etc., etc., etc. Therefore, in order to form a better union, in order for us to be a better country, for now, at least for now, we must leave the Republican Party and we must ensure that the other party is strong enough so that we can purge the Republican Party of all of the cancer and then rebuild a, a, a true conservative party that serves as that backstop that challenge, that force that makes sure every side is working as hard as they can to make things right for everybody. We spend a lot of time deconstructing the news, trying to, trying to parse it into a form that everybody can understand. We try to find those little nitpicks where uh, it goes, it flies above the fray, etc. If you really like these videos that we do, I want to ask a big favor. Please go ahead, number one, subscribe to our channel, and number two, please join if you can. Thank you so kindly for watching. Keep watching. Please remember to share. We must populate the entire internet with our progressive message, a message that we know is what most Americans say that they want. So help us please join.